Welcome to your next module. So we're going to continue talking about volcanoes. So in the first module, we kind of wanted to just give you the basic understanding of volcanoes, even though you have some knowledge of plate tectonics and igneous rocks, when to tie those together with volcanoes. So hopefully you've learned a little bit about how composition impacts the style and type of volcano we get. And so we want to remember that as we move along, but here we want to now look at the hazards, like what types of hazards are associated with what types of volcanoes. And typically when we talk about volcanoes, we're more concerned with the stratovolcanoes or the composite. That's that middle of the road intermediate composition one because they are super common. So yes, a Yellowstone type caldera eruption super volcano thingy, right? Might be very violent, but they're rare. They're not as common and they don't erupt as often. But these stratovolcanoes, because they're caused by subduction, remember, they happen everywhere because there's a lot of subduction zones, there's a lot of plate boundaries where that's occurring. So there's a ton of stuff happening and they can range from pretty mild to pretty violent. And so we want to look at all the hazards, of course, but what you'll see is those intermediate types kind of cover almost all the hazards we're going to talk about. So what I want you to do is hear the PowerPoint and the video kind of like an overview of an introduction to all the different types of hazards and how we might monitor some of the things going on in a volcano to try to predict when it might erupt. And so certainly look through that. It's a, a lot shorter because it's just an overview. It says like, boom, boom, boom. Here's the types of hazards. I do want you to go to this USGS page here that goes a little more in depth. And so when you click that link, it's going to look something like this, maybe. And here you go. And so I want you to go through these pages here, right? These are the different hazards that we're going to talk about for this module. And so make sure you take a moment and click each of these and read the information here. They're just, you know, they're not super in depth and super long, but you know, we want to cover all of those hazards. So that's what I want you to do for that. And then of course, even the textbook has some additional information about hazards and even monitoring. How do we monitor, right? So you're going to use all three of those to kind of gain all this knowledge about different hazards. And then you'll be a pro and you can go ahead and take the lecture quiz. I even threw in a few additional YouTube videos that illustrate some of these hazards that you're being you know, introduced to in this module. So you can watch those. You can hear, you know, see the terms lahars and pyroclastic flows, even ash falls. These are things that will be produced when we have some type of eruption. So that's the main lecture content there for that, of course. And then for the article, I'm going to have you read a little bit about Yellowstone. We did mention that it is a volcano, potentially has, you know, the power to do some pretty good damage if it erupts, but it is not super common that it erupts often, things like that. So you can read through that before you take the article quiz. And then for the homework, what I'm going to have you do, let's see, not there, right here. So the homework's just going to link you to here, and there are some links embedded in the homework. So you'll want to, it's going back to the USGS page. The first link is going to take you to a Mount Rainier and give you some information about that. And then you'd answer these questions based on the information you're getting from that USGS page. And then there's several other links as you go through the homework. And I want you to go and kind of read about and learn about and then answer some questions. So that's what the homework's going to be about. And then let's see. So and then finally, you're going to have the lab, of course. And so the homework will take you a little bit of time potentially to go through. So maybe to offset that, we're going to be gentle with you on the lab. So for the lab, I'm just going to have you watch a video on Krakatoa. So it's a really well done video by how the earth was made. It's from that series. And it's good for us because there are multiple hazards that occurred from that eruption that you can now visualize and someone could talk you through it too. And the animations there are pretty, pretty well done. So you're basically just going to watch the video and go through and answer some questions. Just like you would in a normal lab, you're going to go through, answer them, hit submit, it'll auto grade kind of story. If for some reason you missed a bunch and you want to go back, of course, you know, you always have that option when you're doing the labs. 
And so there you go. That's what you got to do for this week in the Volcano 2 module. So if you have any questions about what you're supposed to do this week, or if you're struggling with some of the content and need some help, please don't hesitate to contact me so I can uh, assist you with that. All right. Good luck.